Lena had been working as a flight attendant for over a decade now. It was a job that she loved because it allowed her to travel the world and meet a lot of new people. But ever since her husband Tom passed away, her love for her job had been put to the test. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Daily Dose, like and share this video with your friends. Tom was a pilot for the same airline she had been working for. They had been married for almost 11 years when Tom passed away from a sudden heart attack. Her job reminded her of so many things about Tom that it took a long time for her to get over it. As Lena walked down the aisle of the plane, she noticed a man seated by the window. The man must have felt her staring because he turned around to look at her and smiled. Lena felt her heart skip a beat. The man looked exactly like Tom. Lena knew it was impossible. The shock of seeing Tom's face again made her feel a bit sick. She immediately walked towards the cockpit. Her close colleague, Stacy, immediately asked her what was wrong after seeing her pale face. Lena pointed towards the man and told Stacy that he looked exactly like Tom. She knew she sounded crazy, but she was pretty sure of it. Stacy said there was one way to solve this. She stood up and approached the man Lena was pointing at. Stacy asked if she could see his boarding pass. Fortunately, the man did not question her and handed it to her without any hesitation. Stacy returned to Lena later on and informed her that the man's name was Mark. He did look like Tom, but he is a totally different person. Lena felt a bit relieved, but also a bit disappointed. When it was time for the in-flight meal, Lena was in charge of Mark's row. This was when she noticed a small detail that gave her goosebumps. On Mark's ring finger was a silver band with a small diamond in the center. It was the same ring Tom had worn every day. It was identical to the wedding ring that Lena had on her own ring finger. Lena took a deep breath and reminded herself to stay calm and professional. Lena asked Mark if she could get him anything else aside from his pre-ordered meal. Mark looked up and asked if he could get a glass of water. Lena smiled and said she'd be back. She wanted to tell Stacy everything but decided against it. At this point, Lena no longer cared if everybody thought she was crazy for confusing this passenger for her late husband. She just had to know this doppelganger a little more. Something was just off about him that she could not let go. It did not take long for Stacy to catch on to what Lena was doing. Lena was trying to act as casually as possible, but Stacy knew her too well. She approached her friend and told her to let it go. This man was not Tom. Lena told Stacy that she just noticed how Mark was acting strangely. He seemed nervous about something. Stacy stopped to observe the man for a few minutes and had to agree with Lena. She finally agreed that the man was acting strange. Stacy told Lena that they would not accomplish anything by just observing him from a distance. It would be best to ask Mark directly if there was something wrong. After all, it was their job to make sure that every passenger is comfortable on the plane. Stacy was right. This was part of their jobs. Lena walked over to Mark, but as she approached, the seatbelt sign turned on. The aircraft started to shake. This was no small turbulence. Lena had to rush back to the front of the plane and take her seat. Lena looked back in time to see that Mark looked scared. He was gripping the armrests tightly and he was sweating. Other passengers started to yell. The turbulence went on for about 10 minutes before it stopped. As soon as the flight seemed to proceed smoothly, Lena approached Mark and asked if he was doing okay. Mark seemed to be surprised by her approach. Mark snapped at her that he was not okay, but it was all because of the turbulence. Lena quickly noticed that he was being defensive, but she did not back down. She told him she noticed he was already nervous before the turbulence started and asked if something was going on. Perhaps she could provide a solution to make him feel more comfortable. Lena could tell that Mark was thinking of an excuse. His eyes darted around the plane, and he looked very guilty. Look, I'm just traveling for work, and I'm a little stressed out about a big presentation. It's nothing serious, he told her. Lena was not convinced that Mark was telling the truth, but she could tell he was getting agitated so she did not push it any further. She walked back to her seat, disappointed that she did not solve the mystery. Lena checked the time and knew that they would be arriving at their destination soon. There must be more to this story. This man looked just like her husband and wore the same ring. But how could she figure out the truth in a limited time? As Lena was thinking of a plan, 
Mark suddenly stood up. He grabbed his backpack and headed toward the lavatory. Lana found it strange that he needed to bring his backpack to the restroom. Then, ten minutes had passed, and he still had not gotten out. Lena told Stacy that Mark was taking a long time. They walked to the lavatory together and knocked on the door. There was no answer. They waited another five minutes and knocked again, but still, there was no answer. There were already a few passengers who wanted to use the lavatory at this point. Lena and Stacy decided it was time to unlock the lavatory door from the outside using a special tool. But after trying, the door was stuck. This was serious. Mark could be experiencing a medical emergency behind that door or was purposely preventing them from unlocking the door. The flight attendants decided to inform the captain about the situation. The captain radioed the airline's operations center and requested assistance. Meanwhile, Lena and the rest of the flight attendants continued trying to talk to Mark, but he still was not answering. Then suddenly, the lavatory door unlocked from the inside. Mark emerged, looking disoriented, but he also looked unharmed. He said he accidentally dropped his phone down the toilet, and he was busy trying to retrieve it. Lena immediately did not believe him. He could have easily answered back in that situation. The rest of the crew made sure to keep the situation controlled. They knew the captain had radioed ahead, so they were confident that there would be cops waiting for them at the airport. Lena stayed with Mark as the rest got back to their duties. Lena could see that Mark was still nervous, so she knew it was not over yet. She looked at the ring on his finger. When Mark noticed, he immediately placed his hand inside his jacket's pocket. Lena again asked Mark if there was something wrong. Mark looked around making sure nobody else was paying attention to him. He looked like he was in pain. After making sure the coast was clear, Mark swallowed and then took a deep breath. You have to help me, he whispered to Lena. Lena was secretly pleased. They were finally getting somewhere. Of course. What can I help you with? Mark hesitantly opened the backpack that he brought to the bathroom. Lena thought she was about to faint when she saw what was in the bag. Inside the bag was a homemade bomb. Lena did her best to calm down. She asked Mark where he got the bomb, but he refused to answer. Lena looked around her, desperate to make eye contact with any of the other flight attendants without showing her panic. Finally, Stacy noticed Lena, and she hurried to her side. Lena quietly explained the situation and showed her the inside of the bag to confirm her story. There is no denying that there is a ticking bomb and they had to disarm it right away. Lena told Stacy to inform the captain and told her to act casually. Nobody else should know of this or else the passengers might panic and all hell may break loose. As Stacy made her way to the cockpit, Lena focused on Mark again. Lena tried to make casual conversation with Mark to help him calm down. Sir, I couldn't help but notice your ring. I wonder where you got it from. The question seemed to make Mark angry and told her it was none of her business. Stacy returned with one of the passengers following her. Stacy informed her that the man works for the FBI bomb squad. He had been observing Lena for a while and asked Stacy if there was a situation he could help with after showing her his badge. The FBI agent checked the bomb and he told them he could disarm it with a screwdriver and pliers. They took the backpack to the cockpit where he could work without the passengers noticing. Lena and Stacy were told to not tell the other flight attendants yet. Fortunately, the FBI agent was able to disarm the bomb a few minutes away from landing. When he emerged from the cockpit, he gave Lena and Stacy a thumbs-up sign, and they both sighed in relief. They both went back to their duties enthusiastically. He took the seat next to Mark to make sure that he won't be able to get away. As soon as they landed, the plane was surrounded by police cars. The FBI agent cuffed Mark as the passengers started exiting the plane.